I'm all yawny. Are you going to get rid of that? Yeah. I'll go once I press play. Uh, right. So, I'm Sean. That's K. K. That's Sean. We picked out a film from the jar of films. From the box of heroes of jars of films. And it was Psycho, 1960. Anthony Perkins. Directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Which is a name that every single person knows, but not very many people know his films nowadays. Okay. Which is a shame. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to watch it. Going to watch it. Is this a horror movie? Yes. A lot of people think, and I've said this about four or five times now on this channel, that this was the first slasher horror film. It's not. The first one was Peeping Tom. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just watch it. See if you can figure out what the crack is. I forgot we were watching this and I'm not prepared for it. If it's a scary, I won't be happy. Well, I've told you what, what kind of film it is. <laughs> Back when films used to have the opening credits instead of ending credits, but then it would still have the ending credits. John Gavin. <laughs> Isn't that the most... English name you've ever heard, John Gavin. The two first names, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, Pat Hitchcock. Which is, I wonder if that's any relation. Janet Lee. Ooh. <laughs> you had the read, ever read the book? Can't say that. Have. Psycho? No. Oh god. This is a very famous film. I mean I've heard I've heard the f of the film Psycho. I've never actually watched it. I think Alfred Hitchcock he's called like the master of suspense or something. That's his, okay. that's what people I don't know if it was the master of suspense or the king of suspense or the king of thrillers or something. He was very very famous. A lot of people didn't like him though because he made like he made films like this which weren't like normal back then. Right. So people liked him, but they didn't like him. Yeah. Okay. I think it was more like people didn't like him back then, but as it's as time's gone on, people sort of gone. Well, the reason we have so many good films now is because of Alfred Hitchcock. Is it in black and white? Yeah. Are you unhappy? Everyone spoke weirdly back then. Mm. Sydney just wants a buyer, basically. By who? Her. He asked her if she was unhappy, he says he likes to buy stuff off her. That were not happy. I buy her. I thought, I just assumed he was showing off. No, no, no. Maybe. I mean, he is showing off, but I assume that's what he meant. Ah yes, I have a headache, so I'm going to go to Las Vegas. <laughs> the party capital of the world. <laughs> tranquilizers. They're not even pills, they're just tranquilizers. Both of these lie down. That's what they used to give. That's what they used to give for medicine, you know. Just tranquilizers. You know, with a bit of a cold. Tranquilizers. Since she wants to buy off her happiness or something so obviously there's something happened and yeah. she needs the money to fix it I've got a saw here tranquilizers I've broken my leg I mean if you're not I mean if you're asleep then you're not going to feel the pain are you? <laughs> I hope you're not going to do it it's not, not going to help you is it I've got a head I've got a headache tranquilizers it's not it's not all that healthy you're knocking yourself <laughs> out is it I didn't say it was no wonder people back then only lived till they were like 40 so she's fleeing with the money. 
How far would 40,000 take you then, though, do you think? Oh, back then it would have been, like, 200,000. I it must have been a lot. Because now, I mean, 40,000 would barely even buy you a house, would it? No. Be able to help you start buying a house. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to buy. And he was, he's, he was just going to buy a house with 40,000, and it was like... Not even for him. I don't know, for his daughter. It'd be a hell of a wedding present, though, wouldn't it? Here's a house. <laughs> I might start planting those seeds in my mum and dad's head. You know what I really could do when I get married? A house, I could really do that. house. I thought she had a sister. She Okay, so she's just leaving her sister. Yeah, she's just acting like a complete lunatic. Like... I mean, how hard is it to just pretend to be normal? Well, but to be fair though, do you not know, think it, the more you try to act normal, the less normal you are? Yeah. I used to sit there going, how does a normal person sit? <laughs> how does a normal person look? Or you do the complete opposite, but you're like overly slouching, you're like... <laughs> this is how I always slouch. Quite a famous soundtrack as well. Just so you know. I don't want to tell you too much, but it's yeah. quite a famous film. Focus on the road. Just gonna end up getting in an accident or something. Nah, he's turning off, isn't he? Yeah. But if he didn't act like such a psycho, maybe he wouldn't have been so questionable. So I don't think you are supposed to sleep on the side of the road in this country, unless you're you are, unless you're like a HDB driver or something. Yeah, well, lorry drivers to... do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I don't think we can. I think you have to go on, like your services and stuff. <laughs> she has been weird, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, technically, she has broken the law. She stole a man's money. So, you know, she has broken the law, but... Because she's just acting so weird, though. Like, why would you, why would you, like... I mean, we're talking as if we're, you know, criminal masterminds, so, yeah. you know... It's easy for us, like, to, to say, but... She also just carry around so much money like that. I bet that would be so much fun as well. Just note. There you go. Hundreds, hundred dollar bills. Like yeah, that. yeah. Stop looking at the policeman! <laughs> <laughs> she's just stood there looking at me every five minutes like let's, let's not look let's not look suspicious <laughs> <laughs> you had to drive his car that 20 steps well you know convenience just in case she tries to make a run for it Which she is, basically. Hey! Aren't even looked at it, planning it, and, and even flirting with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's like every bloke when he's talking to another bloke. Isn't it? It's like, oh yeah, she was flirting with us. Literally, oh, all she, she oh, said she was hello. Mind you, someone flirted with me last night, you know, it was a little weird. I was dancing, I was dancing with my friends. She came over to us and she went, you seem like a really lovely lad. I really like lovely lads. I'm like, how do you call a lovely lad? Yeah, it's a compliment. Oh, it was a compliment. It was a compliment. But I was like, you know, you don't know me from that guy over there. How do you know I'm a lovely lad? That wipe is on. And that car's probably still running. 
I never understood that in movies where they leave, like, they don't lock the cars or the houses. Well, they don't lock the cars because, you know, if you're in a rush trying to escape a horrible murderer person, you want to be as quickly as you can getting into that. I know, but it's like, even just in regular movies, they never lock the, the doors. And I always, I, I always laugh when it's like, um, they do lock it. They'll run to the door. They'll try and open it while it's locked instead of just going open. I guess that I don't feel like I could successfully like unlock the door if I was like terrified of like dying. It's like it's just. I've always imagined that if I was being chased by a horrible. Sorry, If I was, you know, being chased by a horrible murderer person, I'd be able to just jump through the window. Why would you have to think about the room? <laughs> <laughs> There's 12 vacancies. <laughs> See? He's trying to be a gentleman. Stop being so suspicious of everyone, <laughs> okay? See, he's been nice and he's been mm. gentlemanly. Good for him. There's also two keys, though, which I feel like is also. Well, yeah. What if there's two people trying to check into the cabin? Every hotel say that. I know, but. <laughs> have you uh, ever stayed in a hotel yeah, before? But, yeah, but like. Why would they only have one key? No, not one key, but like. You know what I mean? It's like it's convenient that there's just another key so someone can just grab it and go in. <laughs> and it's just there. I'd like to. All right, yeah, you, you get yourself settled and, and take off your wet shoes, and I'll be back as soon as it's ready. With my, with my trusty umbrella. Oh, look, she just made his blooming day, bless him. Yeah, but this is a horror movie, and I feel like he's too nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's too nice. I know there's a woman somewhere. There's an old woman in the window, didn't it? You saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I thought that was him. Or just long hair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really notice the hair, to be honest. There was a woman and she had like a, she had like a little cardigan on. Women wore cardigans back then, men didn't wear cardigans. Back in the 1960s, men only wore suits and fedoras and cowboy hats and mm. bolo ties. Never heard of anything like a cardigan. We men. She's going to have sandwiches and milk. Deciding which drawer to put all of that money in. I think he looks... Eating in an office is just... Just too officious. I have the parlour back here. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you being so suspicious? <laughs> because it's... It's convenient. He's taken it out of... The... She's the main character. Muppet. Does it, does it she was like really famous. She was like really famous back then. So? She's like the star. Yeah, she can be the star and sell bad stuff happen. Do you think? I think he looks like Andrew Garfield, am I? Understandable. Out of our miseries. No. Who's no. <laughs> <laughs> the psycho here? Yeah. So I would be angry if someone said that about my mum. I don't know if it comes under horror or if it's a thriller. Mm, either way.
We all go a little mad sometimes. That's one of those famous quotes. Yeah, hasn't she? Stole a man's money. I think it's actually it's weird. I've never seen him as an Andrew Garfield person, but now more I look at him, I think he looks like Andrew Garfield. I think it's maybe a little bit. I think this entire video is just going to be your facial expressions trying to figure out. <gasps> Choose a different name. I should put Los Angeles down as town of origin, didn't she? Yeah, she's, she's, going, she's back. going back to Phoenix. She also put a different name, didn't she? Oh, did she? I think so. Oh. She, had a last, she said her last name was Crane, didn't she? Her last name is Crane. She didn't put, write that down, though, did she? No. I don't know. It didn't look like it. Anyway. Just for context, I've seen this film and Katie hasn't. Ooh, I don't like the music. Ooh. <laughs> that's like it's creeping us out. There. Very famous music. It's a very famous soundtrack. Hmm. Is it something like he's he's got this weird thing where like he because she's lied to him and he knows she's lied to him, he's now like he tells his mother, "Oh yeah, that person lied to me," and so his mother's gonna go and kill her or something. So you think the mother's it's, still? Well, either potentially, or maybe it's him. Maybe he has the actual illness, and he's like, he's saying it's his mother, because he hasn't got any friends. So is it something like he, the motel's away from to try and make friends, but every time someone lies to him or is unkind to him, he like kills them, or she kills them. Do you think he's like? I think he's harmless, though. Do you think he's harmless? It was. It's just. It's just. It's just. It's just a bit weird, isn't he? Yeah, and he has a hole that looks in our room. Casually. That she never noticed. I'm sure you would notice a hole in the, the hole wall. The hole in the wall, yeah. <laughs> what? It's... Uh, she's going in the shower, isn't she? She's going in the shower. Oh. What? What's wrong with her going in the shower? Because it's shown us this for a reason. <laughs> and, and I don't like if the reason is something sinister. <laughs> because you can't, you, you, what can you do when you're in the shower? You're yeah. wet, you're slippery, you're going to fall. Yeah, you're most vulnerable there, aren't you? <laughs> your eyesight's hindered because you're washing yourself. It's just, it's not. I shouldn't be laughing, but it was just. I shouldn't be laughing, but there was, a, there, was a, there was a bit where you saw the knife graze across her belly. And nothing happened. I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry. No, we just witnessed a woman being murdered, and you're laughing. So you is also, that the mother? I well, assume. You also suggested that the mother should be put out of her misery. <laughs> Who's the psycho here? <laughs> Did you recognise the music that was playing as well? Yeah. It's famous music, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was considered a big deal at the time, that scene. Because she's like a, a very famous actress and she's dead. And she was the main character. Okay. I assume that was a mother. Anyway, the only reason why I was laughing was just because of the... Because There's, movies are different now, so, aren't they? If it was, yeah. if this was made now, you would be like gory and it would be. Well, bloody. supposedly there is a version of this film where you actually see a, the knife going in something, and it's the same cut as supposedly you see her boob, which is like unheard of back in the sixties. Right. Which is one of the. It was like that was a sort of mix 
with Alfred Hitchcock as a sort of like, you know, scandalous. You know, he showed a he showed an image of of something being stabbed. It's like really like it's really thingy, isn't it? I think that's the point of the music is to be like really It's like yeah. Like goes through you. It's like mm, I think yeah, like that's the good way to describe it. Like it goes through you literally like a knife would. I think that's the point and it's it's part of the reason Alfred Hitchcock's such a brilliant director. When you watch some Alfred Hitchcock's movies, they were like Decades ahead of their time. This is gonna go fight her. Oh. Oh, he's doing. He's doing what I, I would do if it was my mum. I would. You would. I would clean up after her. I don't want my mum to go to prison. It's probably bad on me, actually. That's just as bad. <laughs> yeah, that is bad. I don't know. I like to think I would be the honor. I would do the honourable thing and turn in and turn, turn her in. Turn her in. Yeah. But also, it's like, it is your mum. Yeah. The boy's best friend is his mother. I know you're not a boy, but, you know. I wouldn't want my mum to go to prison. Even if she did just murder someone. For no reason. Presumably. You were, you know, you were there. You were sort of going... Because uh, uh. it was creepy, wasn't it, when she was coming up? <laughs> when she was coming up on the... Because, uh, no, because I... I I feel like I remember at some point someone saying psycho in the shower scene and that I, in my mind I was like, oh my god, it's the shower scene. It's a very famous scene. Was it not in that um Player One? That ready player one? With that guy that played Cyclops in the X Men. For that movie. Because they go through like where they like recreate oh, scenes and stuff. It's not famous because of that. No, I'm just saying that's where I feel like I've recognised it from. You've probably, you've probably heard reference to it as well, though. Probably. Because it's like it is quite an infamous scene. Obviously, like I say, it was basically like back in the nineteen sixties. The idea of seeing someone being murdered would have been like. What? A car drove past. He, he pooed himself a little bit. Would you not? I mean, I've, I don't have any experience in covering <laughs> up murders. Do you? No. But I'd, I would like to. I would like to think. <laughs> that was so creepy the way you said that. <laughs> but I'd like to think. You literally just went, nah. I'd like to think in that situation. Your, your eyes you went wide. You would be like, oh my god, I'm like. Sam Loomis. It's actually weird how many people in horror movies' names is Loomis. I wouldn't know. No, that you wouldn't know, no. There's a Dr. Loomis in um, Halloween who was supposedly, it was like meant to be like a tribute to, to the character in this. Right. And then there's Billy Loomis in Scream who I think was meant to be a tribute to someone, probably either Dr. Loomis or it might have been to Sam Lewis in this. I wonder if our sister and that Sam is going to come up and be the three of them trying to figure it out. It's just in Cause I feel like I feel like in these kind of movies there's always a group. Yeah. Of them, isn't there? Remember, this was pre slasher norms. Mm. Like. Maybe not then. The idea of all the group sort of getting picked off, and someone in the group is the killer, was like way after this. Don't go at the house. That's a creepy looking house as well. I don't know. It's a creepy house, isn't it? The little house like on the, the hill. I feel like the fact it's black and white adds to the creepiness. It does, yeah. It's like because it's darker mm. and it's like. <laughs> the music as well. I think there's constantly music playing throughout the whole film. And it just builds to every moment. Because like, usually in horror movies, like it'll stop and you know, like, oh, the jump's coming, obviously. Yeah. It like, adds to the suspense, but here it's like you kind of. Hmm. I think it, I think I, I might be wrong, but I think this film actually won. It might have been an Oscar for the sound design. Actually, actually, it might not have because the Oscars wouldn't have nominated it because it was hitherto undreamt of 
that a boob was shown on <sighs> screen. Don't just walk into a stranger's house. You're just asking it to be murdered. Look at that shot. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. This is me like it. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> He's stumbling down the stairs. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but it was just like, oh. <laughs> oh. I feel every time someone's died, I've laughed. I feel bad. <laughs> but Do you think just, that was creepy? Though? I, th I, th I, th I, th I think that's creepier than the shower scene. The bit where she just, that, just that, came that, walking like, out. <laughs> They both want to go up, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You're a woman. You'll never find it. I'll come with you. I'm a big man. Why can't I go with you? I don't know. One of us has to be here in case he's on the way. What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and wait? Yeah. Stay here. Oh, yes. Big, strong man with slick, pure gasoline in his hair. He's going to... He's gonna go and sort out that woman, the, the evil. I wonder how many people he's had to like chuck in that like swamp. <laughs> in the swamp. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a swamp, doesn't it? Yeah. Norman Bates's mother has been dead and buried in Green Lawn Cemetery for the past ten years. I helped Norman pick out the grave she was buried in. Periwinkle blue. Only local history, Sam. It's the only case of murder and suicide on Fairville. Yeah. What? She poisoned this guy she was involved with when she found out he was married. Then took a help him to the same self herself. Strict guy. Ugly way to die. Norman found them dead together. In bed. What? I mean, that old woman I saw sitting in the window. <sighs> What helping this situation? Are you piecing it together yet? No. I'll be honest, the first time I saw this, and then, you know, usually when I say I watch crime shows, I'm, I, I can go like, I figured it out here. This is when I figured it out. I had no clue when I first watched this. No clue. So if you get it, you're smarter than me. Don't you, you were nearly I mean, there. it's not going to be a ghost because it's not that kind of movie, obviously, but. You were nearly there. You were nearly. Got a creepy voice as well, didn't she? If, my, if I did that to my mum, she'd be throwing us down the stairs. <laughs> okay. So is it something like it's an old woman buried in the coffin? That's his actual mum. And he's just so trying it was, to so it, was a, so it was a victim then. So it was the mother. So we think. Maybe like his wife or something. Because she said he had a wife. Who had a wife? The man she was with. Oh. When she, mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe she killed the wife and then they buried the wife or something. Maybe. I like those pens, but I can never use them. Because it, it goes through me. Mm -hmm. This film always creeps me out. I've watched it like four or five times and it always creeps me out. It's such a creepy film. What would we find? She got rid of most of the evidence, didn't he? But there hasn't been anyone in that room since. So what could they find? They're not going to find the card because the card's buried in there. Swamp with her, the money, all our belongings. Mm -hmm. I can handle a sick old woman. Mm, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. 
Yeah, you can't stick with a with a man. You're just a woman. You go and talk to the sick old lady. Her, you'll be able to find. Doors open. Of course it is. It's okay though, because we know she's not at the top of the stairs. So it's okay. So if she goes upstairs, she's safe. Okay. I don't know that. <laughs> I do know she's that because I've seen it. She's a, well, well, yeah. <laughs> she's a crafty old lady. She got yeah, the a, door. She's a crafty old bint. <laughs> like you said. Like you said, that. You know, that glass door. If I was being chased, straight through. Just. Yep. Through. Oh, my God. We know she's not in there. Yeah, but she's a crafty old woman. She could have just run up there. The term, Ooh, I don't like it. The term is crafty old bint. Don't like it. She's got brass sculptures of naked men. <laughs> I jumped as well. It's just a reflection. God. Uh. If your bed does that, that's a sign you need a new bed. Yeah. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. I'm not saying you shouldn't. <laughs> I still get creeped out by this film. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> the doll? I don't like the... The, uh. <laughs> the doll. <laughs> what you're doing this is scary. It's because I know what's coming. <laughs> the fact you're doing this is actually sorry, scaring sorry. me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Talking about your mother. About your motel. She? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Go, save your mother, Bates. Is he saving his mother or is he saving her? <gasps> Don't go down the stairs. If your aim is to hide and then get out of the house, you don't go down the stairs. Because you... I swear. To God. <laughs> Are you getting stressed? Yeah, because everyone in movies like this make bad decisions. Oh, yeah. They always do, and it's just like, oh. She's just trying to find her sister. Would you not go through all this effort to find me? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh my god. Well, do something. Help him. No, she can't help him. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Yeah. Anyone who says they're expecting that. Mother and mother killed And like a dutiful son, covered up all traces of a crime. We couldn't even remember that he was make creating it. Me. I'll let them. 
Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even gonna swat that fly. I hope they are watching. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know and they'll say, Why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. <laughs> He's like looking into my soul. <laughs> Oh! Uh, I didn't like that at all. Such oh a my good god. Film. That's such a good film. I am having that, dreams is, about that. Isn't that a great film? <laughs> I saw that look. I saw it. <laughs> it is, though, isn't it? It's a good film. Like, nowadays, you can generally guess who the killer is, but you had no idea no, that was going to happen there, did you? I thought it was going to be something like either it was like his mother is really alive and he just covered up her killing someone or something or like something like he'd seen an old woman and what it like drugged her into like thinking she was his mum or something like something like that but I didn't think because it does the, I think it does the film does well although he, he is like weird when he's talking I think the film does well by almost making you like him like he doesn't Obviously, he pervs on the lasses, which is not right and yeah. all that stuff. But he's, you know, I think it makes good, does a good job of making you think that he couldn't kill them. He seems too nice to kill them. At the beginning, yeah, he was kind of. I thought he was just a bit like a bit codependent on his mum. Mm. Like he's because like he's she's made him think the only way he can survive is with her. <sighs> yeah. And that's made him a bit weird, but that film still creeps me out. Still creeps me out. Just that shot of when, well, him, when, like, that overhead shot when he kills the detective and he runs out, like, ooh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And, just, even, and it's weird now, isn't it? Because 19 year old, 2022, you watched it, what, 60 years? 62 years after it came out, and even you were creeped out by it. That's how great of a film it is. I think. The th to be fair, though, I get creeped out over everything. I know, I'm Alicia, not. Bit, I am not a very good. The bit where she saw a reflection and she jumped in, and you were I like, "Jumped!" Because <laughs> I just, I'm, 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 I'm just that kind of person. I don't like horrors. I don't like to. I don't like the feeling of being scared. Mm, still creeps me out that film. And, and I like, watched that. I watched that in like, school. I'm like that when I go into like old buildings. When you go into an old building, you kind of like, oh my god, like there could be like some creepy like ghost yeah. or something. It's like it's just stuff like that when you're going to like. You'll never be able to go into a motel, will you? Yeah. <laughs> I feel to go back to America. All right, get the jar of films. <laughs>